It's a typical morning commute for thousands of Central Valley residents who work in the Bay Area. For years, this long-distance behind-the-wheel ritual, with its accompanying traffic congestion, accidents and pollution issues, has inspired countless transportation studies. This is one of the longest work-related commutes in the nation. As San Joaquin and Stanislaus counties continue to offer affordable homes and the Bay Area provides a thriving job market, employees choose to make the arduous trek up and over the Altamont Pass, often alone in their own vehicles. This economic dependency has strained the corridor that connects these two diverse regions. Since the early 90s, reliance on the Altamont Pass has increased 50%. Everyday vehicles compete for pavement with trucks making the uphill climb. People are here because they can uh, realize the American dream, they can own a home here, they can own some property, they have uh, uh, good schools, low crime, uh, a number of really good reasons to live in the Central Valley and in Tracy and other places in, in the San Joaquin County. They're willing to do that commute because they feel like it's still a viable alternative for them. Various improvements have been made over the years, but demand continues to outpace all efforts. Adding lanes is cost and land prohibitive. It is no longer a solution. Efforts to manage and maintain the I-580 corridor to avoid complete failure are essential. In response, Caltrans developed the I-580 corridor system management plan, which identified future capacity needs of the corridor. The CSMP focused on the supply side of the congestion problem. Looking at the demand side, the San Joaquin Council of Governments secured a Caltrans grant to analyze various measures that aim to reduce travel demand by commuters and commercial trucking in the corridor. These findings provide technical information that supplement the I-580 CSMP. The consulting firm of Dowling Associates, which specializes in transportation engineering and planning, led the interregional multimodal study. Implementing the latest research tools, the corridor and its air quality were analyzed assuming various employer-based transportation demand management and goods movement strategies. TDM, or Transportation Demand Management, refers to changing how, when, and where people travel in order to increase efficiency on roadways. Employer-based TDM strategies look to employers to support alternatives to driving alone to work. The findings indicate that employer-based TDM strategies can reduce region-wide commute trips by up to 13 percent. This translates to an overall volume reduction of up to 3 percent on I-580. Here are some of the most common strategies. Financial incentives and subsidies for employees who use alternative modes of transportation. Parking cash out, where employers pay employees for their unused parking space. Alternative work schedules or working from home, so employees bypass peak commute times. Carpooling and van pooling is a very cost-effective way to reduce congestion. The Guaranteed Ride Home program assures employees a vehicle in case of an emergency. Transportation management associations provide a TDM coordinator who educates employers and employees and facilitates commuter options and services. Many of these employer-based TDM strategies are used at San Ramon's Bishop Ranch. Because of their efforts, 40% of their workforce use alternative modes of transportation. One of the biggest surprises to both the employee and the employer is the fact that the stress level of the employee goes way down and if you have a less stressed employee, they're happier. They like their job more, they're more productive. Riding the bus or using some other form of alternative usually makes them more punctual. They miss less work, so absenteeism goes down and retention goes up because they learn that it's really something to be valued. In addition to employer-based TDM, the research also explored Bay Area parking pricing and its effect on reducing single occupant commuting in the corridor. Not surprising, it had a significant impact. 
Findings indicate that Bay Area parking pricing, combined with employer-based TDM strategies in the Valley, can reduce region-wide commute trips by up to 17%. This translates to an overall volume reduction of up to 6% on I-580. We now have the tools both in the Bay Area as well as in the San Joaquin Valley to, uh, to actually make tangible changes to uh, the I-580 freeway operations through travel, transportation demand management and um, through the goods movement projects that we also looked at in this project. Uh, we can actually make uh, percentage point changes to the operations of the freeway, which is really rewarding to be able to be involved in a, uh, a study recommends programs that can have those kinds of effects. By implementing employer-based TDM strategies, research shows that by 2035, there could be 8,000 fewer commuter vehicles driving the Altamont Pass each day. That's a reduction of 195,000 miles and a savings of 10,000 gallons of fuel. This strategy would eliminate more than 97 tons of greenhouse gases each day by 2035. If parking prices are increased, more commuters look for alternatives to driving alone over the Altamont Pass further reducing overall miles traveled, saving 50,000 gallons of fuel and eliminating tons in greenhouse gas emissions each day. There's no question that one of the most attractive things about transportation demand management is it's cheap. Uh, and it doesn't take a lot of money, doesn't take a lot of capital. Uh, it does take flexibility, both by the folks doing it as well as their employers. This is a regional problem that will require an interregional approach. Cooperation between the Central Valley and Bay Area will help us maximize success. About 78% of all goods that are manufactured or services that originate in San Joaquin County that go out go across Interstate 205 and 580 to the Bay Area. That's huge. That's huge to us uh, here in uh, San Joaquin Valley. And for the Bay Area, it's it's just as important because if you have 50,000 workers every day coming into the Bay Area from the San Joaquin Valley, we're part of what keeps the Bay Area itself running, makes it what it is today. We are linked together, conjoined by Interstate 580. It is essential for both of us to keep this corridor operating. The multimodal study also explored ways to alleviate or divert truck traffic on the corridor. I-580 is a major route for products exported from the Central Valley. Traffic on the corridor is also compounded as goods are transported between the ports of Stockton and Oakland. However, given the high cost of transfers from ship to truck to rail, using rail over short distances proves too costly to be a viable alternative. So freight movement between the Bay Area and the Valley will continue to be dominated by trucks. A truck as about the equivalent of 16 times the economic value of a single occupant automobile. If we can keep this corridor open for those kinds of economic movements, that's, uh, that's really good for both of us. That means that we have to find other options for those people that are driving their cars alone. We need to be able to provide better carpool options for them, van pool options for them, bus pool options, which is something we're building upon, the ACE service that runs between here. And we need to work this through employers who are counting on those workers to be able to make it from Tracy and Manteca and Modesto across to their employment sites in Pleasanton and San Ramon and San Jose. Freight over the Altamont Pass can best be managed by providing truck climbing lanes that separate trucks from the flow of traffic. We have a pretty constrained bit of geography here. Big Bay in the middle, a lot of freeways that are built sound wall to sound wall. So we have real constraints on how much more pavement we can lay down. And we think one of our biggest challenges going forward is to figure out how to squeeze more capacity out of the roads we've already built. Housing in the Central Valley is more affordable than ever, and the job market in the Bay Area is among the top in the nation. Projected demand on I-580 will continue to increase as families look for the best of both worlds. And as they do, air quality suffers. Senate Bill 375 requires communities in California to work toward reducing greenhouse gases, Implementing employer-based TDM strategies can ease pressure on the I-580 corridor, reduce greenhouse gases, and continue to support the surrounding economies. Based on this study, various policies have been developed for consideration. 
They include improved public transit like the Altamont Commuter Express and interregional buses, develop policies that support implementation of employer-based TDM programs, and better accommodate truck freight by establishing truck climbing lanes. Good policy will last longer than the policy makers, and so uh, making good, and, uh, good decisions now and putting it into policy and creating that good path for the future in terms of what we're going to have to do to be able to best use the assets of, the, of 580 as being uh, that major corridor is just a really important part of the process. We encourage local agencies to visit the project website to learn more about the potential policy implications. With interregional collaboration, we can keep the I-580 corridor running as smooth as possible, save money, and reduce greenhouse gas emissions. You've got yourself a really nice ride all the way to the